What's up people, in this video we will be learning how to host our Discord bot on Heroku for free, so that way we can have our bot running even when our computer is turned off. So if you don't have a GitHub account already, go to github.com and create an account. And then click on new to make a new repository. We're going to name our repo dog-bot. We're going to leave these options the way it is and click on create repository. And then copy these lines of code. Open your terminal at the parent directory of your project and paste whatever you just copied. And then type in your username and password. Cool, so now if we reload the page on GitHub, we see a readme file. Now before we push all of these files to GitHub, we need to do something really, really important. We need to make sure we don't push this token along with these files. Because right now our repository is public and we don't want our private Discord token to be public. So what we're going to do is, we're going to store this token in an environment variable on the server we're running the bot on. And for our code to access this token, we're going to use the OS module. So we're going to do import OS and we're going to scroll down and instead of this token, we're just going to do OS dot and move on and we're gonna do square brackets and we're gonna type the label of the token. So the label is gonna be discord underscore token in all caps. So as you can see, we have different Python modules that we installed for our bot. So we need to make sure that Heroku also installs these modules on its servers. So there's a really easy way to do this. So just type pip3 freeze greater than sign requirements.txt and it's going to create a text file with all the modules that the Python on our machine has. But as you can see, that's a lot of modules. So I'm going to be keeping only the modules that our program is going to use. But keep in mind that the modules that you should have in this file may vary depending on the modules that your program uses. Great, so these are all the modules that our program is going to need. And then open your terminal and type python tree dash dash version. And then copy this string of text and make a new file called runtime.txt. We're going to paste this string of text and this is essentially going to tell Heroku which version of Python to run. And now to tell Heroku which command to run, we're going to make a proc file. Make sure this proc file is not a .txt file. Nice, we actually see the logo of Heroku as well. Okay, so here we're going to type worker colon python tree app.py. Now to push all of our files to GitHub, we're going to type git add dot and then git commit dash m. We're going to add a commit message saying added all the files. And then we push. We're going to type in my username and password. Cool, so now if we go on GitHub, we see all the files added to our repo. So now is the fun part. So go to heroku.com and create an account and stuff if you haven't done that already. So we're going to click on new to create a new app and we're going to type dog dash next card dash bot for our app name. And then click on create app and here we're going to click GitHub and click on this to connect to GitHub and then this is all fine and then authorize Heroku. And since our repo name is dog dash bot, here we're going to type dog dash bot and click on search and then connect. So you can choose to enable automatic deploys, which basically lets Heroku redeploy your bot every time you push to the main branch on GitHub. By the way, here's something important in case you missed it. So in our runtime.txt file, instead of this, it should instead be a lowercase p and a dash right after Python. And then we're going to go to settings and click on the real config res. And here we're going to type discard token. And then we're going to paste in the discard token from the discard developer portal right here. So copy and paste and click on add. Great, so now we can run the python tree app.py command. So we click on this button and turn this on and click on confirm. So when we go on our Discord server, cool, we see our Discord bot is online. So we can do dog help, dog speak hi, 
This is crazy. We actually got our Discord bot running on a separate server. And if you have any questions, like if you're facing some issues with this, feel free to comment down below with your question or you can reach out to me through my Discord server. The link to the server is in the description. Wait, I have something important to say. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I mean, you've come so far in the video and you haven't subscribed. Look, it's 100% free. You won't miss out on new videos and you'll help other coders find my channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bye.